Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Macquarie, second bank off the bank earning season, and the two to come are ANZ and Westpac. But overall, this number was probably not met with any sort of cheer, considering that we saw the annual net profit fall by 32% to a lower than forecasted $3.5 billion, as fewer asset sales and lower commodity prices weighed on the bank's performance for this financial year. The bank cut its dividend to $3.85, down from $4.50 this time last year, and it's 40% franked. Do want to highlight very clearly the Macquarie Asset Management and also the commodities business, they basically halved in terms of what happened in the second half of the financial year compared to the year before. And despite the fact that banking and financial services and also their capital markets arm did quite well, it was not enough to offset what was going on in its two main divisions. And that really, really hurt the overall numbers. And as they point out, particularly, you know, Shamira Rick Ramasira, the CEO, the ongoing economic uncertainty in subdued markets makes it pretty difficult and it will be a challenging year ahead in FY25 as well. The commodity story is the interesting one because clearly they are fluctuating. Macquarie has actually seen a bit of a headache with its green business. The green initiatives arm is part of the reason the commodities division did so poorly. It does also have a bit of a war chest going out there with asset sales, the catch for them in FY24, they just couldn't get the deals done. So there could actually be a bit of a turnaround in FY25 with those deals likely to get achieved. For instance, one of them is gonna probably make over 400% on the investment Macquarie put back into it. So there is a bit of money therefore to come back in and a bit of money to be made on the short term. But overall, the interesting thing about Macquarie's results is that it just again shows that investment banking is going through a tough period then its decision you know, four or five years ago to enter into the retail banking arm is probably about basically shoring up and having a di distribution and an overall sort of divestment across the whole industry. Because we know full well that if you have a diversified industry inside your portfolio, you're gonna do better. And that's what they've clearly done here. So it's offset despite the fact of falling 32%. Macquarie's results overall will probably therefore longer term still be met better than its peers because it does have that full diversification through its entire divisions.